Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1942 on the MSX, released by Capcom in 1986. Obviously, it's based on the video game of the same name, released by Capcom in the arcade in 1984. I remember seeing this game in Westwood Ho, and it wasn't in the arcade I always talk about, it was in another one, and um, I loved it. I loved it because it was a shoot 'em up and it had old school planes in it. And I was shite at it because it is balls horrifically hard. And it's set in the 1940X game series, of which there is a huge number of entries. And the ones towards the end aren't even made by Capcom at this point. This is set uh, in the Pacific Theater of World War II. It's essentially the Battle of Midway. It was a hugely popular arcade game and it got ported to absolutely everything. Uh, I've played this on the Spectrum. I have a video of it. I absolutely love the ZX Spectrum version. It was by Elite and all the stuff they did on the 8-bits was utterly fantastic. Then US Gold, or Go, which is US Gold, did 1943, the follow-up, which I just felt was nowhere near as good. The, the, the kind of game mechanic that sets it apart from other shoot 'em ups in this is that you could do a loop the loop which gets your balls out of the fire but you only get three of those and you can upgrade your plane by getting wingman and stuff like that but unlike other shoot 'em ups at the time stuff comes from behind and i mean bigger planes boss planes but anyway pretty sure you're familiar with this most people are familiar with the nes version that has awful sound effects spoilers so does this because i've given this a really quick go to see what it looks like so Let's get into it. I'm trying to play a whole bunch of MSX games. So, um, yeah, let's go. Fire. Right. One player, two players. Spoilers. I'm Billy No Mate, so it's going to be one player. Zero. I always find it weird that a Japanese company made a game set in World War II where you fight the Japanese, but you are American. Right, so, loop the loops, bottom right hand corner. Immediately, this is so much better looking than all the 8-bit micro versions. Fantastic. Oh, shite, I'm dead. Points top left. But it does have that, it's in the arcade to be fair, that weird, like, beepy bell SOS sounding thing. And also it has super smooth scrolling for the MSX. Does that make it an MSX2 title? But look at the um, the background graphics. They're super yeah, so the other thing I remember about it is obviously before you get to bosses, because there are bosses in this, essentially there's 32 levels I should have pressed up then, and what you have to do is just go from carrier to carrier. Of which, see, last 32 stages, obviously it counts down. You're not going to see many. But yeah, it's the fact that you have different sized planes. Is this the power-up shoot or the reds? This pad is not good for precise movement. Also, looking at the enemy when it, like that, David, not when you are, bad mistake, but it is balls horrifically hard. But yeah, just about the different size planes different, take different amounts of pummeling. Also, be careful when you're in the middle of the screen. There we go, because that happens. And there seems to be a bit of flickering when he's there. And then when he gets up here, is he gonna fire? Oh, look at the flickering. And he didn't fire. I'll take those apples. Weird, until, oh, so we're not paying attention, until that flickering bit, I was saying that this is a looker. Zero lives, bottom right hand corner, underneath where it says number of rolls. The problem is, the bullets, even though they're red, when you've got objects in the um, sea on the bottom, on the floor, <laughs> um, they blend in. They're very difficult to see, and also there's so many planes on the screen at once, which is, seems to be what causes the, or triggers the um, flickering. You've got very little room to manoeuvre. Where's this big bastard coming from? Oh look, check it out. I'm just gonna stay here. You should have to get in my way, that's on you. Look at that. I was impressed until that happened. Right, 
They, uh, but they will, you get penned in, and they will fly down towards you. And I've used them all. And we made it to a carrier. I've achieved something. Shame, if it wasn't for all the flickering, no idea what happened to my voice then, and the shit music, but the shit sound effects, sorry, the shit sound effects is basically accurate to the arcade. This would be a good, you know, good looking game. That's it, that's the music you've got. And get used to it, enjoy it. You keep your power up, cool. It replanned your uh, loop the loops. It is an interesting mechanic. But I can't help but feel they should give you more than three. Would I say they should give you an unlimited number? No, it would make the game incredibly easy. But should you be able to... Well, maybe you can replen them. I don't know, because I'm shite at this. Every version. But yeah, if you could replen them, at least it's given you a, a chance. Because the thing is, flicker it or not, look how many bad guys there are on the screen at once. Ooh, who didn't think... Two years after the arcade game, to not do something about that stupid beeping noise, All right? And why don't we have music all the way through the game? Continue! Why am I excited about that? Right, so we are, so 31 stages left. The thing is though, it's a Capcom game from the early 80s. Capcom games from the early 80s were balls horrifically hard. They hated you and everyone you cared about. The only thing they loved about you was your cold, hard cash. What's they got? I wonder why Capcom make their games so hard. I'm sure there's a reason behind it. Maybe they genuinely just hated us. You can stay there, mate. I mean, there's no slowdown start. There's a little bit. It's the... Fuck! Flickery. See, you run out of room too soon. Not having or having the world's shittest joystick. This is us. Um, I am running this on the uh, Super Console X. Doesn't help. Pow. What? What did that do? That did nothing. And I couldn't see him because it was flickering. And the goal was they do nothing. Yeah. I mean, it's accurate to the arcade because it's fucking hard. Yeah, we get some right in your life, you bastard. Yoink. Are there bosses? Or am I thinking of 1943? Or any other game in the 1940X series? Because there are quite a few. There's a really good port in the super graphics of... Is that 1943 Kai? Or is 1943 Kai on the um, PC Engine and it's 1943? I don't know, I can't keep up. Oh, I saw you! Die, you bastard! Yeah, get some that in your life. Ooh. You can just piss off. I, I, I'll let you live. I mean, we're going to nuke you anyway, aren't we? Oh! I pressed it! Dead? I pressed whatever the fucking button is that makes me loop the loop. Oh, does this put me back to the start? That was fucking... Oh, oh a shizen. I caught bollocks on that one. I wasn't far off the carrier either, was I? Fuck it, just nuke him. Oh, that's what that did. I mean, I'll take it. I would have preferred a weapon upgrade, though. Ooh! Damn. Oh, he's firing now, is he? So, anyway, to sum up, it's a jolly good port. Limitations of the hardware that was, you know, showing through with the flipping when you have a number of sprites on the screen at once, but that's to be expected. Um, it's got smooth scrolling, which wasn't always, you know, the bread and butter of the MSX. 
that worked out quite well that time. Jesus. But it's just balls horrifically hard. I mean, to be fair, you could say that's accurate to the arcade. That's quite, that flickering is too much, isn't it? But, yeah, too hard. I mean, obviously there are other people out there who could probably do this on one credit. As long as I say, good for you. We all need life goals. I can. Don't fly down, that's it. So that in your life. Where's this? I oh, pressed the. Are oh, you mother puss bucket? I pressed the fucking button and it didn't respond. To be fair, I've just looked down and realised I haven't got any rolls. <laughs> anyway, it's always a lovely thing, especially played this back in the day on this version or any of the versions. But this could have been a contender. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later.